Good day, children of the Most High God. My name is Mpumzi Swana, a son of MCC. And it's such a pleasure for me to be able to share the Word of God with you this morning. And today we'll be taking our master script from the book of Genesis in chapter 45, verse 6 and verse 7. The Bible reads, For two years now, there's been famine in the land, and for the next five years there will be no plowing and reaping. Verse 7. But God sent me ahead of you to preserve life for you, a remnant on earth, and to save your lives by a great deliverance. In this portion of scripture we find Joseph after having revealed himself to his brothers, explaining to them that him coming to Egypt was in no way the works of man or the plans of man, but that it was actually God himself who had sent Joseph ahead. That when God knew and saw that there was a pending famine coming, a famine that would impact the whole world, he sent Joseph ahead to be an agent that would be able to bring solutions to save not only Israel, but the whole world. And my message to you this morning is that God has sent you ahead in the times that we are in. We find and we see that through this scripture, that whenever God sees a pending hardship, whether it be a famine or a pestilence, he always sends his children ahead. In the book of 2 Kings, chapter 3, verse 11, when the kings found themselves in a place of dryness, where there was no water, and there was pending death, Jehoshaphat asked, Is there no prophet of the Lord, whom we can inquire from? God has sent ahead Elisha, who was able to bring about a solution of how they could find water. We find also in the book of Genesis, the story of Isaac, how when there was a great famine, God sent him and he told him to stay in the land and to sow in the land where there was a famine. And indeed, Isaac sowed and he reaped a great harvest. When God sees pending famine and pending pestilence, he always sends his children ahead. Now you may be asking yourself that why has this pestilence come in my time? Why has great hardship come in my time? But I'm here to tell you, Saint, this morning that it was God's plan to send you ahead. When God saw 2020 coming, he asked himself, who can I send? Who can I send ahead that I can use as an agent, that I can use as a messenger of hope? that I can use as a solution provider. He saw you and he sent you ahead. You are not a victim of the times, but indeed the times have come to reveal the greatness of our God through you, through the agent that God has sent ahead. So therefore I implore you this morning, like Isaac, so in times of famine. Plow in prayer. Like Elijah, seek the face of the Lord for a solution. Like Joseph, inquire from the Lord the interpretation of the time. Like the sons of Issachar, seek the face of the Lord and he will show you and give you understanding of the times so that you will be able to lead this country. You will be able to bring solutions to this country. And God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus.